It's time we stop basing our laws on myths. It's time we start basing them on facts. It's time we stop basing our laws on fear and on hypocrisy and start basing them on justice, reason, and compassion. It's time our government stopped driving adults in this country to drink and start allowing them to make the rational, safer choice to use marijuana if that's what they prefer. We're confronted by a comical hypocrisy here at the Democratic National Convention. This is a convention that literally is being run on beer. We have major sponsors, corporate sponsors of this convention, such as Molson Coors, Anheuser-Busch, the National Beer Wholesalers Association, yet for some reason we can't seem to find the ability to, to simply acknowledge the issue of marijuana that's out there, and it's such a major issue in this city where people have voted on several times. In fact, they're running cars here at the convention on beer. They're actually taking beer sludge from Coors Brewery and they're running cars on it and touting the fact that we can actually run a car or two for a weekend on beer. Yet there's no discussion at all of the fact that we could run the nation's cars on hemp oil for the rest of eternity if we'd simply have an open discussion about marijuana and about hemp and other marijuana related products. Don't get me wrong, I fully respect adults' right to use alcohol. We're not anti-alcohol. We're simply standing up for the rights of adults who may make the rational, safer choice to use marijuana instead of alcohol when they party. Despite the fact that the people have been very clear on this, our elected officials continue to ignore voters. Yesterday, Mayor Hickenlooper appeared at the convention and he talked about change and how important it is to change the laws that we feel need to be changed to make this society better. Yet that very same mayor refuses to follow the will of the voters and refuses to make the changes that people are calling for. Not only is our mayor calling for change, but the entire Democratic Party is as well. They stand up there time and time again saying that things are broken and we need to change them. Yet, this is a party that ignores the fact that there's broad national support for changing our nation's marijuana laws. More absurdly is that all of these elected officials agree that marijuana should be legal. They're just unwilling to do anything about it. So we're not even calling on them to change what they believe, we're calling on them to stand up for what they believe. And they're unwilling to do it. Mayor Hickenlooper has said, marijuana is a gateway drug, we can't make it legal. This coming from a guy who's admitted to using marijuana in the past. Clearly it's not a gateway drug unless it's a gateway drug to becoming the mayor of a major American city. And this isn't just about Democrats, this is a bipartisan thing. Not only have folks like Barack Obama and, and Bill Clinton and, and our mayor use marijuana, but so has Newt Gingrich and Clarence Thomas. And the hypocrisy is really, really uh, quite visible when we look at not only the fact that these folks have used marijuana, but they also openly use and promote the use of a far more harmful drug in alcohol. The mayor of Denver made millions of dollars selling alcohol to the people of this city. Yet for some reason he can't find it in his heart to stop criminalizing people who make the safer choice to use marijuana. Not only is it this hypocrisy evident in the drugs these elected officials use, but in the money that they take. The liquor industry in this country gives millions of dollars to candidates. They've given more than $2,500 to every member of Congress here in Colorado, and more than $3 million to congressional candidates this year. Yet these candidates, despite taking money for, using, uh, for, for um, supporting alcohol-related causes, can't find it to simply stop criminalizing adults who use marijuana. Alcohol has been found to contribute to violent crime, rioting, property damage, yet for some reason our government would prefer that the demonstrators, the convention goers, and the elected officials who come to this convention use alcohol instead of marijuana. It makes absolutely no sense. It's hypocritical and a must stop. Thank you all very much for being out here. We have a booth right over here. We uh, are signing people up to get involved in this city and around the country. Please come see us. Thank you again.